So here is Rigit 1.4. Rigit 1.4 now has the option to build a simple export skeleton. Something much like this, which can be used when exporting your animations to game engines. This was always possible with Rigit before, but required a fair bit of manual intervention. And also, of course, the bone rig used for deforms in layout is far from optimal for use with game engines. However, the new export skeleton builder allows you to create a customized skeleton for just the sort of bone count that you need for your particular project. So you can create lighter bone counts or much heavier ones, depending upon exactly what your needs are. This means that getting your rigged and animated characters out and into places like Unity or similar is a far less painful process and allows you to use the rigged animation rigs, which of course offer great control and workflow for character animation, with a much more simplified bone rig for deformation. This whole thing is also, of course, fully integrated into the entire setup procedure for Rigit. And so, of course, you can go between rig mode and edit mode when setting up your new skeleton. The export skeleton is a generalized tool that will give you different options across different rigs. So you can always quickly and easily build the most optimized skeleton for your needs on a given Rigit rig. It also has support for the higher bone count of the Rigit Advanced Deformer enabling you to use the kind of setup and structures found there for deformation management and send them out to your game engine or similar. Let's have a quick peek at a couple of examples. Here's our quadruped doing his run. We've got a nice simple low bone count rig in there, complete with, of course, this stretchy bone that handles his belly deformation there. And after a bake and export, here we can see it going in an external engine. As it happens here, I'm using the FBX viewer, but this would be no different had you exported to Unity or Ogre or any other kind of games export that you had available for Lightwave. As I said, of course, this also supports the advanced deform system in Rigit. So if we take a look at our Hulk here, who's been fitted out with the export rig, we can see that with a bit of careful waiting, we're able to get all of these lovely deformations going on that we're used to in the Rigit system with all of the muscle action and everything else happening. And as we can see here in Lightwave, it all deforms and works pretty nicely, giving us some lovely shaping and control over our character mesh. But because of the way that the export rig handles these things, all of this can also be exported out as well. And we can see that when brought into our external system somewhere, everything comes along just nicely. And we've got all of this same wonderful control that we had back in Lightwave. Of course, this uses a good deal more bones and it will depend on the kind of game engine that you're going to or whatnot. But if you're wanting these extra shape controls and you can afford the bone count, then by all means you can use it, which gives you a quick, easy and reliable way of getting your custom animation with custom deformation from Lightwave and into your other package. As we can see, it all works out pretty splendidly there. So, very pleasing. And last but not least, whilst you of course can use this to get your weighted and boned and animated characters out of Lightwave and into a game engine or any other package, because of the way that the structure and layout of the bones has all been set up for you, it will also plug straight into any kind of motion capture pipeline. So you can take custom animation that you've done in Lightwave bring it into Motion Builder or Myers HIK or whatever and just repurpose it straight away onto other characters. So even though this export skeleton has been designed primarily with game engine use in mind, it does also function as an all-round general export structure that you can use to take your characters from Lightwave to whatever other package you're after. So there we go. These are the new tools added in for, and I'm sure that any of you looking to a mixed pipeline outside of Lightwave, especially those of you who are wanting to produce custom animations for games, will find them incredibly useful and productive. Thanks for watching.